hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video we will see what is an open channel and also uh, we will see some basic differences between an open channel flow and a pipe flow and then also we will see uh, the classification of open channels okay so you can see right now this is an open channel so basically open channel is defined as that channel in which the top surface of the fluid is open to the atmosphere okay so generally uh, when you observe rivers canals and any natural streams which are flowing you can see the water surface flowing with your naked eye it means that it is uh, open to the atmosphere such type of uh, channels are called as open channels okay and even a pipe flow is also a case of open channel when the pipe is not running full so we will see basically what are the differences between uh, closed conduit flow and open channel flow in various aspects so first basically if we go through the definition of course pipe flow is that type of flow within a closed conduit means within a closed loop or within a closed path the flow will take place but whereas an open channel here you can observe it's a open conduit means it's an open system with a free surface open always to the atmosphere coming to the nature of flow based on this category we have that uh, pipe flow is within a closed system as i have told you where uh, you if it is not running full or if there is any space it will be subjected to atmospheric pressure little but that case we are saying it as uh, open channel flow so in pipe flow uh, generally we apply any external pressure to make the fluid to move in the pipe but whereas in open channel you do, you need not give any external pressure or any additional force to make the fluid to move because the water or the fluid in an open channel will always flow under gravity coming to the uh, flow here in pipe flow the flow occurs due to difference in pressure as i've told you due to difference in pressure head or in pressure the external pressure what we are supplying but whereas in open channel obviously it's under gravity and uh, the type of pressure in pipe flow will be a hydraulic pressure which means that water pressure but whereas in open channel flow it is subjected to atmospheric pressure why because the top surface is open to atmosphere coming to velocity so in a pipe flow the maximum velocity will always be at the center because uh, the walls are uh, the flow flow towards the walls is subject to friction so maximum velocity would occur in at the center but whereas for open channel the maximum velocity will occur just at a lesser depth below the free water surface next coming to the cross section uh, in a pipe flow mostly the mostly used pipe uh, pipe cross section is a circular cross section but whereas in open channel you can design an open channel cross section based on various geometries like most commonly used are trapezoidal triangular rectangular circular etc but uh, in this the most widely used is trapezoidal because of its larger area coming to the hydraulic gradient line hydraulic gradient line is defined as that line uh, which is the sum of pressure head datum head and kinetic head so when we talk about uh, uh, sorry uh, hydraulic gradient line is that line which is uh, the summation of pressure head and datum head what i told you the sum of pressure head kinetic head and datum head the summation of all the three heads is called total energy line whereas hydraulic gradient line hgl stands for the summation of pressure head and datum head alone so for a pipe flow uh, this hgl does not coincide with the top surface of the water it depends upon the depth of the flow in the pipe but whereas hgl for a open channel flow will always coincide with the free water surface next coming to uh, surface roughness in a pipe flow the roughness is dependent upon the material of the pipe used but whereas in open channel flow the surface roughness depends upon the depth of the flow and also the geometry of the uh, open channel and also the kind of the open channel it is so coming to examples of pipe flow we all know uh, drainage pipeline sewer pipelines whichever are operating at full capacity then only you can say it's a pipe flow okay and whereas open channels all the natural streams rivers canals can be called as examples of open channel flows now we will see different types of open channels we have the first classification which is type 1 classification uh, that is under this type 1 classification we have two types natural channels and artificial channels so natural open channels include all channels uh, which are formed naturally on the earth okay and they are very irregular in shape irregular cross section so all rivers and streams which are formed naturally are examples of natural channels 
next coming to artificial channels so artificial channels are those open channels which are developed by people which are developed by a man which are constructed by people so they are designed uh, based on a regular geometric shape so on whichever geometry you want you can design so examples of artificial channels will be all the irrigation canals culverts which are not running full gutters uh, and um, chutes etc so right in this figure you can see uh, the background of this figure you can see it's a open stream here it, example of natural channel whereas the right hand side figure is a artificial channel next coming to the classification which is type 2 classification under this we have prismatic channels and non prismatic channels so prismatic channels are those uh, whose cross section is not varying whose cross section is fixed or whose cross section is constant that you call it as prismatic channel so examples would be all artificial channels so all man made channels would not change their cross section means for example if they are lined they do not change the cross section so you say it is a trapezoid it's a trapezoid circle is a circle like that so they are called prismatic channels so non prismatic channels are those which have varying cross section or which have varying bed slope or the bottom slope you call it as non prismatic again all natural channels fall under prismatic uh non prismatic channels so all natural channels are usually non prismatic because all all the time the cross section varies because they flow on their own and they are naturally formed so the cross section means the geometry would not stay constant even the bottom slope varies from place to place as they are flowing so all natural channels are examples of non prismatic channels next classification which is type 3 classification of uh, open channels we have two types in this rigid boundary channel and mobile boundary channel so rigid boundary the name itself it's specifying the boundary of the channel is rigid rigid means which is immovable so a channel whose bed is immovable and whose sides are very rigid is called as a rigid boundary channel so examples of this case would be all the lined canals what we see for irrigation purpose which are lined with concrete so you can see the bottom uh, slope or the bed of the channel as well as the sides are lined with concrete and hence uh, they are rigid and even the sewer pipelines and even sometimes unlined canals like which are not lined with concrete or any other material are called unlined canals and even they can be called as rigid boundary channels but when they are not erodible when they are non erodible okay next comes uh, mobile boundary channel so again the word itself the name itself specifying mobile boundary means the boundary is mobile the boundary is able to distort that's called as a mobile boundary channel so if the boundary of any channel is composed of any soil matter or any loose particles so when the flow is taking place inside them so when there is water flowing in that channel obviously the boundary of the channel also would get eroded so that is an example of a uh, mobile boundary channel so examples are like erodible unlined canals and we have the last one which is type 4 classification under which again we have two types which is small slope channel and large slope channel so those channels which are having a bottom slope of less than 1 in 10 generally we denote the slope of any channel in the form of 1 in 10 or 1 by 10 or 1 is to 10 which is horizontal is to vertical so if the slope of the channel is less than 1 in 10 you call it a call it as a channel of very small slope so natural artificial and uh, small small channels small regular canals will have this lesser slope but when we talk about large slope channels it is that channel which is having a bigger slope means more than 1 in 10 so artificial channels like drops and chutes will have this bigger slope okay so hope you all understood uh, so do watch my next video where i have uh, discussed about the classification of open channel flows okay means the different types of flows possible in a open channel so if you want the notes of this video please click on the description of this video you'll have a link click on the link and download the notes thanks for watching